The Midnight Gospel is a show revolving around the character Clancy, who runs a podcast that gets sent out to space. He finds the people for these podcasts by entering an unlicensed multiverse simulator, which then sends him to different planets and different universes, and he talks to these people about real life issues and problems that are happening, and you know, who knows what's going on in the background. The actual animation for what's happening has absolutely nothing to do with the conversations and it's really amazing. My name is Akatsu and today I'm going to be talking about the Midnight Gospel. Alright guys, now the first thing that I actually want to talk about is the animation and art style. Now the animation and art style for the show are really amazing and are really cool to look at. Watching the show is almost like watching a podcast on shrooms. The trippy scenery and odd character designs really add to the show and help make it what it is. Every episode Clancy is changing the way he looks and his shape and everything like that because with the multiverse similarity he has the ability to do that. And if the animation style really looks familiar, if any of the character designs or anything like that looks familiar, that is because this show is animated by the exact same person who animated Adventure Time, which is Pendleton Ward. So if the animation style or anything looks familiar, that's probably why. I really like how colorful and how vibrant this show is too because I mean it really, the wide variety of colors makes the show really pop out and it really makes it aesthetically pleasing to look at. I mean if you're ever going to trip on, you know, anything, this is definitely the show that you want to watch if you want to watch a show. And setting the animation aside, the conversations in the show were really quite deep. I mean, they can really have you thinking about anything that they talk about. They go really deep and really far into these conversations and bring out different ideas and different opinions on things that you wouldn't have even thought of. The conversations can be lighthearted and unbelievably deep at the same time. This contrast is what helps the viewer feel more tuned in, and it can almost make you feel like you're there talking to them, which really helps the viewer stay more engaged with the show. The show goes over a lot of different issues humans deal with that are almost seen as taboo sometimes. This is a small spoiler, so if you haven't seen it, I wouldn't advise listening to this part, but you can if you want to, it wouldn't be the end of the world. In episode 8, which is the final episode of the series, Clancy talks to his mom, who is three weeks away from passing away. And in this episode, they talk about death and a lot of different topics that sometimes aren't talked about enough. And the fact that they were able to do this and really make you feel like you're connected to these people and it really makes you think about it differently and makes you think about life in a different way and it's crazy how a show can really make that happen you could watch the show with a group of friends and laugh your ass off and have a really good time or you can watch it on your own and really start thinking and really form different opinions on different things due to this show. I also really like the people that he chooses for these podcasts. I don't think that he just chooses any random people. I think he chooses people who he really thinks he can have a really good conversation with that will benefit him and the other person. And I think that this is really different compared to what other shows do because there really hasn't been a show like The Midnight Gospel. The show is very different compared to other shows. And I think that's also what makes it stand out so much. Now, if your first time hearing about this show is from my video today, I would recommend you watching this show in installments. I don't think you should binge watch it. Now, I personally did binge watch it, and I know most of the people that have seen it also binge watched it. But if you were to watch, let's say, one episode a day or one episode every couple days or something like that, it really gives you time to think about the episode and what was said and I think you can really benefit more from the show and really have a better time watching it if you don't binge it all at once because the conversations are like I said very deep and you won't be able to fully grasp what they were talking about in the conversation probably if you try to watch them all in the span of let's say one night. Now with that being said there is nothing wrong with binging it of course you can still binge it and have an amazing time and still really enjoy the show. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content similar to this. Make sure to go check out my Discord server and the link in the description below. And if there's any videos you guys want me to make, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below telling me. And I'll make sure to make the video. 
and I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video by leaving a screenshot of your comment on the screen. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.